When eating pistachios, you end up with a problem where to put the leftovers. You can put them inside the same bag with the new ones, but it will be a mess. You can also use separate container, but here is a better option. You can print this pistachio cup. It consists of two container parts and the lead. The bottom container is for leftovers and the top container is for new ones. I printed the bottom container with transparent PLA. It isn't the clearest, but you can see how much is in it. There is also lead, which holds in place nicely. There is an opening on the top where you can put the leftovers. Nice design and useful also. I had done some soldering lately and I have struggled many times to hold different components in place. I searched for soldering darps and I find 3D printable one. I thought why not try it out before ordering one. The stand is printed with 100% infill which adds good weight to it. I printed it with PTG, PLA can be used also. I printed 4 clamps so I divided joint pieces into 4 to make 4 arms. Assembly is easy, but I managed to break some. I also printed this with PTG. I printed clamps with PTG also. PLA has low heat resistance, so it's not good for this. Even better is ESA filament. Stand has 6 mounting points for arms. You can have 6 arms at once if you need. The arms seems to be holding in place quite nicely, not loose. Clamps seems to work also. My overall thoughts are that it's usable and does its job for some time, but how long it lasts before it's going to get loose. Also plastic clamps will fail. If you don't do much soldering, it will be ok, but otherwise I will buy one with metal clamps. I printed it multicolor, which takes more filament to print, but it looks much better. Head is mostly printed with 3 color filament. Different color layer lines is caused by filament changes. When filament is changed, filament is pulled back and loaded several times. It will twist the filament and colors are not in the same position as it was on the spool. I don't mind it. You can print it one color and then paint it, but I am not a good painter, so I choose this way. On the back is mounting point. You can choose between the wall mount or stand. I choose two bar stand. Stand is printed with InsLogic PLA Pro Black. I pushed it in so much, I cooled, but it seems that it should go more. I left it as it is before I break it. It looks awesome, it's coolest headphone stand I have ever printed. It's designed so, when you put headphones into the mouth, it will close, and when you lift the headphones, it will open. It's great print. One thing what you can do to make the stand even better is to add rubber feet under it or add some weight to it. It can be done adding more infill or adding some steel PBs meat print. If you don't have 3D printer but you need something to 3D print, just type in pcbweight.com and start ordering your stuff. There are many different types of 3D printing you can choose from. Different materials, PCBWay also makes custom PCBs. They provide CNC milling series, sheet metal fabrication and injection molding. Airbrush cleaner, as its name says, is for cleaning brushes from hairs. It's simple design, which don't take much time and filament. You can also print thicker and stronger version. So I found the airbrush to test it and of course, it's quite clean, but I can still see how it works. This brush teeth are not straight line, so it's a little bit harder to use it, but it still works. The stronger one is not good for this brush. It's easier to use on brush with straight line teeth. It said in the print settings that you don't need to use supports, but I still use when printing eyes. Before you can use it, you need to assemble it. All bars are 3D printed and you can find the instructions from the model site. The 
tuid auto cup, turtle looks sleepy. If you had the cup weight to it, turtle head and legs rise up, mouth opens and also the eyes opens fully. It looks cool and different than most of the cup holders, but maybe not the most practical cup holder you can print. I have pretty many different deal I told us before, but it looked nice and it seems to be a good print to this new matte black PLA. Overall, it came out great, but the bottom of the print was a little bit messed up with the waste filament which stuck on the nozzle. When I removed it, I got too deep and that's why it's looking like that. It's not the model or filament fault, I need to upgrade nozzle cleaning system. My D-Lite fits nicely, the top screws on, there are two lead options, one is without the ring and the other with the ring for different stands. I printed the test stand, you can also print the wall mount if you want. It's more usual as a decoration, not as practical, you may use it as nightlight, but batteries will empty quite fast. There are available different sizes. I printed 13 to 23 mm, 23 to 33 mm, and 33 to 43 mm. It's two part design. Threads are all good. You can easily secure cables. The best part of this kind of clips are that you can easily take them off or change the position. It's designed for a little bit thicker cables that I used. That's why it's not holding it in place correctly. It's quite wide so you can add more cables to it. These clips are very handy, if you want to use them for a short time, you don't need to use tape or screws to fix it on the desk. It's just a bowl, but the design is interesting. It's almost as usual as the regular bowl, but this one don't hold water or small things. Golden top layer give, layers give a nice look to it, but I didn't plan to print it with two colors. I ran out of filament some la layers before and you can use it to hold random things or use as a candy bowl. Nice cool design, I printed it with glitter VLA. The glitter V is inside the filament, is big, brass nozzles will wear out fast. When this filament is loading, the AMS makes loud rubbing sound. It sounds not very healthy to printer. But it still looks good and I am too cheap to throw it away. You can use it to store different things. It helps to organize your desk. It's printed with three supports and I used Rainbow Seal PLA. Support removing was easy. It printed, printed great except one layer as under extrusion. It was a fitting issue. Putting controller on the stand and taking it off is a little bit difficult at first, but the controller stays in place firmly. It's designed for storage SanDisk SSDs. I don't have any SanDisk SSDs, but it can be used as organized or other things also. It's two-piece print, which don't use any glue or screws to assemble it. It has this cool model design. It looks like a kitchen knife holder. No supports are needed and it's easy to print. During printing these things, cabinet door key tip broke off. I didn't have a second key, but I needed something to open the doors without breaking them. So I came to the idea why not to print new one. 
After quick modeling in Fusion 360, I managed to make a similar design. To print it, I need a better filament, because even the metal key broke. I chose the ESA. It should hold up. I tried it, and it works. The question is how long it will last, but if it fails, I can print a new one. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.